Hi, and welcome to Coach Jude at Rangitoto. It's time for the final report on my fibre challenge. If you remember, I've been aiming to eat at least 30 grams of fibre each day for 30 days. And I'm pleased to report that I finished fairly strongly, but I wasn't perfect and I'm glad that it's all over. Stay tuned to find out why and to get my final scores on the doors. So let's focus on all the positives that I've gained by doing this challenge. Well, I've learned that there are a lot of delicious foods out there that contain lots of fibre. I think my favourites are dates, avocado and dark chocolate. And with a bit of effort, it is really possible to hit the 30 gram mark quite easily. Over time, as I get more familiar with not just the foods, but the amounts in a standard portion, then the easier that I suspect this will get and hardly take any effort at all. Over the 31 days, remember I added an extra day as I was mathematically challenged on the first day and only had 29 grams, I averaged 38.5 grams of fibre, so well exceeded my target. Another positive, I never felt hungry at all. So fibre is certainly filling, but the surprising thing was that I also found my desire to eat was reduced. This was both good and bad. It was good in that at times I didn't have any desire to eat, as obviously my body was saying, you're good, we've got everything we need to keep you nice and healthy. However, to hit my target, I was often making myself eat. Now this didn't feel good at all, and in fact on the last day of the challenge, I decided not to eat. I had planned a menu to hit my target, but my normal brunch around 10.30 was delayed until nearly noon. I really couldn't face having my intended lunch of a tuna jacket with salad, and instead just had some fruit and yoghurt. So I missed my target by five grams that day. Now I didn't beat myself up about this as I made a choice and decided to listen to what my body wanted rather than just follow my plan blindly. Because the thing is, your body actually is really quite good at telling you what it wants in most situations. If you're eating a balanced diet with a, a wide variety of whole and processed natural products, your body tends to keep fairly quiet and just gives you the odd nudge. Like on the last day of the challenge, I really felt much more attracted to the fruit and yogurt than the jacket potato. I love them both, but in that moment, my body encouraged me to have the fruit. In fact, this is just like my cat Kiki. When she's quiet, we know she's happy. And when she's shout in shouting mode, we know we're in trouble. The odd headbutt is thrown in to remind us that she just needs a little bit more attention. The times when my body starts screaming at me is when my diet isn't particularly balanced or it's high in sugar, salt or alcohol. I remember years ago going on a really low fat diet, which I found really tough. I decided it probably wasn't the best when I found myself absently eating the butter straight out of the tub. So if you're finding yourself constantly hungry or you have constant cravings, have a look at what you're eating and try to move towards increasing the variety of whole foods that you eat and see if that helps. The other good news is I lost just short of seven pounds. Now, even if I take off the weight I just gained on holiday before I started the challenge, I'm still down a good one to two pounds. This is despite not really having any energy deficit whatsoever. And some of the time I was definitely eating more than I wanted. So eating a decent amount of fiber definitely seems to support maintaining a healthy weight. The trick I think for me is to find the happy medium where I'm getting enough fiber without eating when I don't want to. 
In future, rather than try and stick to a fixed target, another option which is recommended is to have about 14 grams of fiber per thousand calories. So basically balancing my energy and fiber intake. On the days I eat more, then I'll have more fiber. And on the days when I want to eat less, I'll eat less fiber as well. Now, typically I have around 1800 calories a day. So this would equate to me having around 25 grams of fiber each day, rather than the 30 grams I've been shooting for. But importantly, I will listen to my body and let it guide me. Were there any negatives? Apart from feeling compelled to eat when I really didn't want to? No, not really. I didn't have any adverse effects at all. In fact, my guts behaved beautifully. Not a phrase I say often. My mood was generally good, even despite messing with my HRT medication. In conclusion, aiming to get a decent amount of fiber in your diet seems to support maintaining a healthy weight. It makes you feel full and seems to reduce your desire to overeat. While initially this can take some effort, over time I'm sure it can become just the way you eat. And if you're doing the challenge, please let me know how you've got on. If you're tempted to give it a go, see the link that I've included in the description for the free Fibre Challenge workbook. And remember, if your plan isn't working or you need more ideas because you're just setting out on your own weight loss journey, check out the link to my free comprehensive guide to kickstarting your weight loss. Take care. Until next time. Bye.